Wednesday. It's time for art. Hi friends, welcome back to another art exploration with me, Miss Kinesis. So, I know a lot of you are probably missing my mindful minutes that I begin every art class with. Remember, mindfulness is paying attention on purpose. So during our mindful minutes, we pay attention to our breath and we would always have an intention or a goal of the week. Now, this is very different from an academic goal because this doesn't happen during a specific part of your day. These kinds of goals or intentions are ways that we live our life and things that we strive to do and choices that we strive to make even when times are difficult. So, in order to bring back a little bit of that mindfulness, I thought today we could do an art activity where we could link our breath to our mark making. And more specifically today, I'll be using watercolors. So I'm wondering, how might I capture my breath in a painting? Hmm. I think we need to start with a little meditation. Let's try. Okay, so before we get started, it's really important that you pick a mindful body. A mindful body is a seated posture, or it could be laying down, but today we're gonna try a seated posture where you can facilitate big breaths and be super focused. So I'm gonna give you some options. So I'm sitting cross-legged. I'm actually sitting on a yoga block. If you have one, that's great. Use it, feels good moves your sits bones up a little bit. And now, what do I do with these? So, you have a few options. Option number one is you can rest your hands palms flat on your knees. If you're feeling overwhelmed, you feel anxious, like a lot's going on, you kind of feel like you need something to hold on to, place your hands gently on your knees. If you feel like you need a little something from the universe, like I need some energy, I need some love, I need some good vibes, palms open as if you're asking to receive. You can also leave palms overlapped one over the other and leave those in your lap like this. Uh, you can put two hands over your heart if you feel like you need some love or need to connect with yourself. Two hands over your heart on your chest works just fine. Uh, if you need something to focus on, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly and this is so you can feel your breath as you inhale. Notice what happens to your belly as you exhale. So that's another option. Or you can do what we call a mudra, or I like to call it in class yoga fingers. So that's pressing your thumb to any of your fingers. Each one actually sends a different signal to your brain. So experiment with different ones. Um, pick your mindful body. And when you're there, I want you to settle in. What you need today might be different from what you need five minutes from now or tomorrow for that sake. And just the first thing I want you to notice is can you sit up a little bit taller? Can you feel your spine getting straighter without looking? And once you're there, notice your breath. Are your breaths short and shallow? When you're breathing that way, it's sending your body into fight or flight. Makes you feel jittery, like you just gotta go. A lot of times we are in fight or flight mode and aren't even aware. Can you slow your breath down wherever you are? Deep breath in through your nose. Slowly exhale out through your nose. Take another deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Now that you are aware of your breath, let's start to notice our surroundings. Remembering to breathe. Notice the temperature of the air on your skin. Does it feel differently in some places than others? I notice my arms feel cooler than my legs. Another deep breath in. 
exhale it out. What sounds do you hear? What sounds are close? And what sounds are farther away? So sounds that are closer to you might be your breath. Might be somebody working nearby. Sounds that are farther away might be what's happening outside of your room, outside of your house, apartment. I hear trucks outside. You probably hear them too. But if I listen very carefully, I can also hear birds. Notice how you feel being in this space. Maybe the way you feel in this space has now changed. Start to roll your shoulders back, slowly. Noticing if they feel tight, or if one shoulder feels a little bit more sticky than the other. Roll your shoulders forward. Remembering to breathe. If you stretch without breathing, you're not doing roll your neck. If you notice a place that feels sticky or a little bit tight, painful, maybe you stay there for a second and take a deep breath in. Exhaling it out. Loosening that part of your neck up. Opposite way. Look up to the sky, deep breath in. Exhale, look down. Noticing if your shoulders crept up, let them sink down, deep breath in. Look to the right. Exhale out, deep breath in. Look the opposite way, exhale out. Look towards center, deep breath in. Bring arms up high, placing them together. We call this prayer, exhale it out. Bringing your hands down an invisible line down the center. Deep breath in, stretch your arms up high like wings. Having them touch in the center, exhale it out. Breathing them down in the middle. Rest your hands on your knees, and if your eyes are closed, slowly blink them open. Notice your breath, if it feels any different than when you started. You should be feeling a little bit more calm. You should be feeling a little bit more connected to yourself. And now that we're connected, we're going to show our breath on our paper. But before we do, let's set an intention or a sankalpa for today and for our art practice. Today's practice and our intention is going to be, I am connected to myself. It's so important to know how you are feeling, to be aware of how you're feeling so that you can give yourself what you need. So let's connect in a different way. Let's check it out. Hey friends, I hope that you enjoyed a little mindful minute. Now that you are connected with your breath and connected with how you're feeling, I want you to think of one color to represent how you're feeling right now. I'll give you five seconds to think. So, I'm going to challenge you today to make a drawing or a painting, depending upon what's available to you, markers, colored pencils, 
uh, watercolors, paints, anything that you have around will work. And you are going to make a picture of how you are feeling today using only one color. Now, you know a lot about value from last week's video, so we know that we can get lots of different shades of a color from just one material. So, with that being said, I'm feeling really excited because it's pizza night. So I've already made a drawing that I'm going to be painting in today using only one color. And that color is one that actually psychologically makes you hungry. So McDonald's is kind of a shout out to you because orange and yellow actually make you hungry. Pew. Think about that when you're looking at logos of different fast food restaurants and different chains like that. So I, I gotta go with a little bit of an orangey red today. Let's see it in practice. Check it out, don't get jealous. So with paint, this is my hue. I'm gonna make a lighter color, we call this a wash, which means it's a lot of water, just a little bit of color, and it's gonna be a lighter version of this color. And then I need to make a shade the shade is a darker color. I'm gonna make it over here and I'm gonna mix some red to give it some body with that orange. You don't always have to use black to make a color darker. And I'm gonna add boop, just a little bit of that purple. So one of my favorite things to do is to not use black or brown to a color, adding like a blue or a purple will really add a lot of vibrancy to your color. darker but your focus is that one color remember to like share I want to see how you're feeling today I can't wait to see you until next week namaste making art bruh